أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المسور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Surah Al-Humaza, the slanderer. I begin in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Ayat number seven. Al-Lati tattali'u ala al-af'idah Which will mount over the hearts. In the commentary it is mentioned. It means the fire of hell will burn the outer, inner part of the infidels. In fact, up to his heart. The fire of the world does not burn the heart. Before the fire can reach the heart, the, the person dies. The heart cannot endure heat. In hell, the heart will burn, but life will not come out. This is because this heart was full of enmity, of the devotees of Allah Almighty, of infidelity and malice. From this we learn that the fire of hell will not be able to burn the heart of the believers because in it was faith. In fact, even the forehead which had touched the ground in prostration too would be protected. Sun does not eat the bodies of some beloved servants of Allah Almighty. I number eight. <laughs> Undoubtedly, it will be closed on them. In the commentary it is mentioned, it means fire will be in their hearts Neither will cold air reach through breathing, etc. Nor will external cold, so that, so that there would be no decrease in the heat. Like how cold air, snow, etc. in the world helps to extinguish inner heat. Or that after they are flung in the fire, the doors would be closed. There will be neither ventilator nor any windows. It will be shut like furance and whose gas and heat will melt the iron. Because in their hearts was blazing fire 
of malice for the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the world. There that fire would be blazing. It should be remembered that Allah Almighty has created persons in a fire in two types. The fire of malice and the fire of love. The fire of malice destroys faith and worship. But the fire of love burns everything besides the beloved. In the sacrifice of Hazrat Ismail, on whom be peace, and the martyrdom at Karbala, the fire of love was inside. The reprobation of Shaitan and the oppression of Yazid were due to the fire of malice. Ayah number nine. Fi amadim mumadadan. In the long columns, in the commentary, it is mentioned. It means these infidels would be locked in the dungeons of hell, which would be further tightened with pillars of fury, iron, to bind it completely, or that the infidels would be tightly bound. With pillars of fire. Sallu ala al Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al Mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'udu bilahi mina shaytan al Rajim. Bismillahi rahman al Rahim. My dear sweet Islamic brothers and muttaqif Islamic brothers, lest with love and devotion recite through the salam upon the last Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله The excellence of Drude Park the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Indeed, he who recites durood upon me the most will be the closest to me on the Day of Judgment. The shortest durood Park is, Sallallahu Ala Muhammad, recite it with the intention of conveying it to Rasulullah, and then at the end of completion, whether 313, or 1,000 times daily, inshallah, your du'as will be accepted. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O seekers of the pleasure of Allah Almighty, we should perform some good deeds at every night of the year. If we do so, we will be able to spend Laylatul Qadr in worship. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, every night there are two Fard Salah that are Maghrib and Isha. Along with other Salah, we should try our best to offer these two Salah with complete Jimat every night. If we succeed in offering these Salah with Jamaat at Laylatul Qadr, we will be successful not only in the world, but also in the hereafter. Make it your daily habit to offer all five salahs, including Fajr and Isha Salah, with complete jimat. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated, if anyone offers Isha Salah with jimat, it is as if he has spent half night in Salah. And if he offers Fajr Salah with Jamaat, it is as if he has spent the entire night in Salah. <laughs> Imam Jalaluddin Sayyuti Ash-Shafi'i Rahmanallahu Ta'ala Alay has quoted the following saying of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The one offering Isha with Jamaat has definitely earned his share from Laylatul Qadr. 
value the 27th night O seekers of mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal if we have the habit of offering salah with jimat throughout the year inshallah Azza wa Jal we will be blessed with offering these two salahs with jimat in Laylatul Qadr as well and in this way we will attain the reward of the whole night's worship in Laylatul Qadr despite sleeping the entire night we should make special arrangements to worship in the nights that are most or more likely to be Laylatul Qadr for example today is Laylatul Qadr okay the last 10 days or the last 10 nights of Ramadan or at least the last five odd nights and especially the 27th night because there is a high probability that this is Laylatul Qadr. We must not spend this night in heedless. We should spend the 27th night repenting of sins, reciting Astaghfar and Salatul Nabi and Salam and Zikr. But Alhamdulillah, we have the opportunity to do the Zikr and we, which we are going to do after this halqa, inshaAllah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Ali karamallahu ta'ala wajhu al-kareem has said whoever recites Surah al-Qadr seven times in Laylat al-Qadr, Allah azza wa jal would protect him from every calamity and 70,000 angels would pray that he enter, will pray that he enter paradise. Further, whoever recites it three times on Friday, any Friday of the year before Salatul Jumu'ah, Allah Azza wa Jal, meaning his angels, write as many good deeds for him as the number of people offering Salat that day. Yeah. Mothers of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha, Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, narrated that she asked the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what should I recite if I find Laylatul Qadr? The beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, make this dua. Allahumma innaka af afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anna fa'fu fa'fu anni. Ya Allah azza wa jal, you are the forgiver and indeed you like forgiving. So forgive me. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, if only we all recite this dua at least once every night, we'll be blessed with Laylatul Qadr any night. If not every night, recite it repeatedly on at least the 27th night. In addition, if Allah Azza wa Jal gives you the ability to stay awake whole night and recite Salatul Nabi, Salam abundantly, attend the sunnah inspiring ijtima and try to spend your time offering nafal salah. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us the ability to spend the odd nights in worship. And inshallah for those muttaqif Islamic brothers, alhamdulillah, one of the bazurgs gave me some advice which I like to share with the muttaqif Islamic brothers. And I know we're spending these 10 days, but we have to be careful not to spend these days in ghafla. The main maqsad that we are sitting in itikaf for 10 days, one is for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal, to please our Creator. And the, the next thing is that it's, it's the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we are fulfilling this sunnah. And if you abide by the rules and regulations of the adab of the masjid and the, uh, the rules of uh, the, the, the muttaqif that who are sitting in the masajids, then inshallah you cannot go wrong in itikaf because you have these two fundamentals that you are following one is I'm going to be pleasing Allah this is always constantly playing in your mind that I'm sitting itikaf what to only please my creator and the other is because it's the sunnah of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are reviving this sunnah of the beloved Rasul so may Allah azza wa jal give his ability to act upon what is being heard and inshallah azza wa jal tonight is the odd night 23rd it could be Laylatul Qadr so inshallah uh, let's not uh, spend this night in ghafla inshallah recite Quran Kareem 
do zikr, send durood and salam. And inshallah, if Allah wills, if He cleanses your heart from sins and your heart opens and spiritually ent- spirituality enters your heart, then inshallah, azza wa jal, you will see Laylatul Qadr. Inshallah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ilahi rahm farma Mustafa ki wasate Ya Rasool Allah karam ki jiye huda ki wasate Mushkile hal kar shahe mushkil kusha ki wasate Karbala ay rad shaheed Karbala ki wasate سید سجاد کے صدقے میں ساجد رکھ مجھے علم حق دے باکر علم ہدا کے واسطے صدق صادق کا تصدق صادق الاسلام کر بے غضب راضی ہو قازم اور رضا کے واسطے بہر معروف و سری معروف دے بے ہد سری جند حق میں گل جنید با صفا کی واسطے بہر شبلی شیر حق دنیا کے کتوں سے بچا ایک کارک عبد واحد بے ریا کے واسطے بل فرح کا صدقہ کر غم کو فرح دے حسن سعید بل حسن او بو سعید ساد زا کے واسطے قادری کر قادری رکھ قادری او میں اٹھا قدر عبد القادر قدرت نما کے واسطے احسن اللہ لہم رزق سد رزق حسن بلدہ رزاق تاج الاسفیاء کے واسطے نصر بی صالح کا صدقہ صالح و منصور رکھ دے حیات دین محی جان فضا کے واسطے تور عرفاء و علو و حمد و حسن و بہا دے علی موسیٰ حسن احمد بہا کے واسطے بہر ابراہیم مجھ پر نار غم غزار کر بیک دے داتا بکار بادشاہ کے واسطے خوانہ دل کو زیاد روح و ایمان کو جمال شہزیہ مولا جمال الاولیاء کے واسطے دے محمد کے لیے روزی کر احمد کے لیے خوان فیل اللہ سے حصہ غدا کے واسطے دین دنیا کے مجھے برکات دے برکات سے عشق حق دے عشق عشق التماع کے واسطے حب اہل بیت دے آل محمد کے لیے کر شہید عشق حمزہ پیشوا کے واسطے دل کو اچھا تل کو سترا جان کو پر نور کر اچھے پیارے شمس دی بدر الالا کے واسطے دو جہاں میں خادم آل رسول اللہ کر حضرت آل رسول مقتدا کے واسطے کر اتا احمد رضائے احمد مرسل مجھے میرے مولا حضرت احمد رضا کے واسطے برزیہ کر میرا چہرہ حشر میں اے کبریہ شہزیہ او دین پیر با صفا کے واسطے احینا فی الدین والدنیا سلام بالسلام قادری عبد السلام اشعدا کے واسطے 
عشق احمد میں عطا کر چشم تر سوز جگر یاہودا الیاس کو احمد رضا کے واسطے صدقہ ان آیا قدر چیعر عز علم و عمل اف و عرفان آفیت اس بے نوا کے واسطے Oh Allah Azza wa Jal, by the virtues of these holy saints and the virtues of this blessed night, the 23rd, maybe it's Laylatul Qadr, by the virtues of Laylatul Qadr, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept the fast of Ramadan. Ya Allah, accept our Salat al-Fajr. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept the tafsir and the recitation of the glorious Qur'an. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the nur of the Qur'an. Ya Allah, give us nur on our faces. Remove any calamities and any illnesses. Ya Allah, bless all the Muslims around the globe. Ya Allah, remove the oppression. Ya Allah, remove the destruction. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, remove the starvation. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, those who are homeless, Ya Allah, grant them a home. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, protect Pakistan. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, give our Muslim brothers and sisters unity and dignity and ittahad and respect ya allah ya allah azawajal especially the brothers and sisters in the uk ya allah bless them and protect them from the enemies of islam ya allah azawajal give us high status in spirituality ya allah azawajal give us ability to spend the odd nights in worship Ya Allah Azawaj grant us Laylatul Qadr Ya Allah for the sake of your beloved Grant us Laylatul Qadr Ya Allah grant us the vision And the mi'raj of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya Allah Azawaj make deen easy for us Give us the full preparation of the Akhirah By performing good deeds By inviting Islamic brothers From the streets Towards the Masjid Ya Allah Azawaj those who are deprived from Ramadan those who are deprived from Salah, those who are deprived in fasting in the month of Ramadan, those who are deprived from Laylatul Qadr, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, with your mercy, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, guide them. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, guide them and make them steadfastness in the deen. Ya Allah bless our children. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give them a good education. Ya Allah protect them from any negative education. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give them good character. Give our daughters the following as Bibi Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala and the daughter of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha and the wives of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Ahli Bayt Ya Allah Azza wa Jal give our wives Ya Allah our mothers our sisters the following of their footsteps. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal grant all the Muslims Ya Allah paradise in Jannat al-Firdos make the accountability easy those uh, parents that have passed away Ya Allah in the state of Iman grant them a high place in Jannah Ya Allah remove any torment in the grave Ya Allah with the blessing of Ramadan Ya Allah free them from the fire of hell and give them entry into paradise in Jannat al-Firdos. Grant them your vision, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, many dua requests have been given. There's a brother who sent a dua request in the morning. His Nani Jan in Pakistan has passed away today. Ya Allah, make her uh, matters of tadfeen easy for her. Ya Allah, bless the household. sabr jameel Ya Allah, those loved ones who have departed from this world. Ya Allah, bless them for the sake of this madni halqa. Ya Allah, a few duas for young children who are quite ill. Ya Allah, yesterday, uh, Brother Zahid, boy, his little one for them. For Uradi uh, Atariya, Ya Allah Azawajal, one of his veins in his brain, Ya Allah Azawajal, something's wrong. Ya Allah, give him shifa for the sake of Karbala. Ya Allah Azawajal, another brother Naveed, his daughter, Ya Allah Azawajal, is not eating anything. Ya Allah, give the, this daughter the ability to eat and nourish herself. And Ya Allah, take away any weaknesses. And Ya Allah Azawajal, give the household, the parents of Jameel. Ya Allah, bless my son Abdul Hanan with good health. 
Abdul uh, Husnain, Ya Allah has been complaining that he's unable to sleep in the night for some reason. Ya Allah, give him the ability to sleep and cover his sleep. Ya Allah, those children who are suffering from sleeplessness, Ya Allah, give them the ability to sleep and rest on time. Ya Allah, make our children obedient to the, towards their parents and give them the ability to abide by the Sharia. Ya Allah, this gathering, many youngsters have come for the morning prayer. Ya Allah, our buzurgs, Ya Allah, they have a sincere dua. Ya Allah, those Islamic brothers and sisters who are listening via radio, social media. Ya Allah, for the blessed, for the sake of this night, accept this sincere dua. Enlighten their hearts and give them the vision of Rasulullah. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin ma'adin al-judi wal karami wa alihi wa barik wa sallim Ya Allah Azawajal bless our Peter Amin al-Hasnad Shah Sahib Maulana Liyas al-Tar Qadri Dhamad Barakatu Mu'aliya Imran al-Tari Salam al-Bari Abdul Habib Bai All the Mabbaligeen the Mabbaligat the Muslimin al-Muslimat Ya Allah with the blessings of our Shaykh Ya Allah bless them all Ya Allah, protect all the Muslims from this pandemic and so-called coronavirus, from vaccine passports. Ya Allah, today the Muslims will be saying some votes. Ya Allah, vote, give us the ability to vote that for that person who supports Islam, who supports peace and harmony, who, who supports uh, saving humanity. Ya Allah, Zawajal, give us the ability to elect the rightful people, the, those who... Uh, who fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon Wa Salamun Alal Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen